about week 10 for the NFC East. Before we get into that, make sure you leave a like, make sure you comment, and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you love you some Giants football. Let's get into this. Week 10. First off, let's talk about the Dallas Cowboys. Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys blow a 14-point lead to the Green Bay Packers and Aaron Rodgers at Lambeau. Dak Prescott throws, what, two interceptions to Rudy Ford? Rudy Ford? They lose in overtime after going forward on fourth down? <laughs> then let's let's talk about Jalen Hurts. Let's talk about the MVP. Let's talk about the Super Bowl winning Philadelphia Eagles because y'all had already crowned them a Super Bowl before the, you know, before the playoffs even came. The 17-0 Philadelphia Eagles lose to Taylor Heineke and the Washington Commanders on Monday Night Football. And thus, I'm not going to let this get shadowed. I'm not. Jalen Hurts could have won that game for his team. He could have won the game. Yes, uh, Quez Watkins fumbled the ball. Dallas Goddard had a face mask and fumbled the ball. Throughout all of that, Jalen Hurts still could have won the damn game on that drive. But what happened? I think they went incompletion. I think they completed one pass. And then he got sacked. And then they had to punt the ball. And then they lost the game because Brandon Graham wasn't tough, smart, and dependable after hitting Taylor Heineke late. After the whistle, week 10 proved that Daniel Jones is the most clutch, without a doubt the most clutch. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear anything. Because if Daniel Jones is on the Cowboys, if Daniel Jones is on the Eagles, those two teams win those games. I don't want to hear it. Did you see Daniel Jones versus Green Bay? Did you see Daniel Jones versus Jacksonville? When it was time for a big play to be made, Daniel Jones made that damn play. He made it. But like, let's get back into it. If Daniel Jones, he is the most clutch quarterback in this division, and he is possibly the best quarterback in this division. Look at the weapons. Jalen Hurts has A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, a the, arguably the best offensive line of all of football with straight studs on the offensive line. Jason Kelsey, Landon Dickerson, what, uh, Brandon Graham, Lane, they have a whole stud offensive line. How do you not win that game? How? I don't understand how. And now the New York Giants are one. One game out of first place in the NFC East. One game. And I said it in my last video. I do not think the Eagles are that good. Do they have a great, uh, great roster? Sure, they have a great roster. They have players everywhere. But don't get it twisted. They have not faced no good teams. The NFC East overall has a soft schedule. No real team has gone in and faced the Buffalo Bills, the Kansas City Chiefs. No team has done that yet. No team. But the difference between the Eagles and the, and the Cowboys and the Giants is people had the Giants projected to go, what, 3-14? and 4-13? and 13? This roster isn't as talented as the other two teams. So them beating these teams is great. It holds more weight, in my opinion. We're going to really clap it up for the Eagles and say they're going 17-0 and they're going to win the Super Bowl because they're beating the Pittsburgh Steelers. They're beating the Houston Texans. We're really about to do that. And here's another thing. We've seen it. Josh Allen over there in Buffalo. It's in overtime. They could possibly win the damn game. Big moment. What happens? He throws an interception to Patrick Peterson and they lose the damn game. Now, I love Josh Allen. I'm not comparing Daniel Jones to Josh Allen. But when Daniel Jones has had to go out there and score points for the New York Giants, when it was the big moments, he has done it. He has done it. Let's be real. He has done it. And I know it's going to hurt for some of these other people, some of these media outlets, some of these people on social media. I know it's going to hurt for them to actually eat crowd about Daniel Jones, but you got to at this point. He had another efficient game versus the Houston Texans. He's taking what the defense gives him. Oh my God, he's not throwing the ball down the field. He throws the ball like 10 times a game. Listen, the most times he's thrown the ball this year was versus the Dallas Cowboys. And the Giants still could have won that game. He had no protection. Wide receivers are falling. Sterling Shepard gets hurt. No Wondell Robinson. No Kadarius Toney, since everyone loves him now. And he still could have won that game. 
still had opportunities to win that game. Still had a great game. See, if you look at the stats, it would make it would seem like he played awful. But if you watch the game, Daniel Jones had no protection on the offensive line. No protection at all. So with the people, he barely throws the ball. First, it was he throws too many interceptions. First, he turns the ball over too much. Now it was that he, he, he doesn't throw the ball. He doesn't throw the ball. Which one is it? Which one is it? Daniel Jones and the New York Giants, man. I, t I told people this. The Eagles are beatable. They are not that good. And I don't understand why last night's loss had to wake up people about that. I've been said it. I've been said it. The only reason why Jalen Hurts was even getting sniffs as an MVP candidate is because he was the quarterback of the best team record-wise. That's the only reason. It's like basketball. In the NBA, if you are the best player on the best team in the regular season, you're going to get some MVP nods regardless. You're going to get some MVP nods. And I feel like that is what's happening with Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles. I really do think that's what's happening. He's the quarterback of the undefeated team. Oh, that team's undefeated. Oh, that team's running over people. Who's the quarterback? Who's the quarterback? Daniel Jones is better than Jalen Hurts. Daniel Jones, he has to beat Dak Prescott. So I'm not going to say he's better than Dak Prescott yet. But I'm even if he doesn't beat him, as these games keep progressing, I might just got to say Daniel Jones is better than Dak Prescott. I might just got to say it. And I got much respect for the commanders. The commanders played a good game. You know, they, you know, they, they took care of the football. They held the football for a very long time, kept the offense of the Eagles off the field. But when that offense was on the field, they made big plays. They turned the ball over. They turned the ball over. But listen, if Daniel Jones was on the Philadelphia Eagles, they win that game. They win that game on that last drive. Daniel Jones goes down there with AJ Brown, with Dallas Goddard, with Devontae Smith, with an awesome offensive line. And he scores the damn touchdown and he wins the game. He wins the game. He wins it. Point blank period. I don't want to hear it. When we have seen Daniel Jones in the big moments versus the best teams on this schedule, he's knocked them off. He beat Green Bay. Dak couldn't do that. He went in and he outplayed Lamar Jackson and won the game. So when are you going to say, or when are you going to just start giving some respect to Daniel Jones? When? I guess you could say this was a rant. I feel like this was a rant. I love ranting about when these teams in our division like the Cowboys, like the Eagles, finally lose some damn games. And the Giants can actually say, hey, we're one game out of the NFC East. I got respect for the Commanders. I'm not going to say much about the Commanders. I got respect for them. I will say that. They played a great-ass game. I got to say it. And the Eagles lost. The Eagles are no longer undefeated. So the 17-0, the Super Bowl run, all of that 17-0 BS, we're going to put that to bed. We can put that to bed for now. Well, we're going to put that to bed. Simple. So, the Giants, um, for them, you got Detroit, and then you got the huge game on Thanksgiving. Again, as we can see, the Cowboys can't stop the run. And what is one carry out, or what ca what's one caveat about the New York Giants offense is that they're led by the NFL rushing leader right now in yards and Saquon Barkley. So, huge game, can't wait. You know what I'm saying? We're getting back in the group of things. More videos are gonna start coming out um, consistently. So um, stay tuned, stay locked in for that. And um, if you're not done so yet, make sure you leave a like, make sure you comment, and make sure you subscribe button. But until then, it's been your boy Jay Dimes, and I am out. Giants, one game out of the NFC East. Go Giants.